Hi there, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Animation. Today I am going to show you a very interesting effect in Photoshop. So I will just show you the woven effect. So this was a normal image and we have converted into this kind of effect with the Photoshop. So I am very excited to share these techniques with you. So let's get started with the first lesson. So for this I will just open the image and uh, this is the image and for this uh, uh, we have to crop this image on perfect square so go to crop tool it's over here or press C on the keyboard and you can go and say size and the resolution you can put 1000 by 1000 and say resolution of 150 now I'll say OK now just adjust it perfectly make sure uh, you on this option that is a delete crop pixel that means you, uh, we will delete this uh, rest of the image say ok now it's fine and uh, I'll open one more file again I'll say 1000, 1000 and 150 uh, width and height will be 1000 pixels and I'll say woven effect woven effect say will be background color that is black it's fine and I want this model to shift on this canvas so I'll press control and shift and then drag now it's perfectly fit if you don't press control and shift uh, the model will not fit perfectly edge to edge so I'll just minimize this now I'll do the duplicate of this layer I'll press control J to make the copy and it's fine now I'll set the grid because we want the perfect selection uh, of the squares so I'll go to edit and say preference and I'll say guides grid and slices so the grid line every 300 pixel and subdivision will be 6 so now I'll say ok and press ctrl H on your keyboard if you are not seeing the grid like this ctrl H or else uh, you can go to view and uh, say show grid and make sure the view the snap is on say go to view and say snap now I'll take the selection just tag this over here press ctrl 0 on your keyboard now it fits perfectly from edge to edge to select take first row first second and third leave this one say one two and three okay one two and three say one two and three same thing so now I want mask out of this so I'll click on layer 1 and say mask so this is what we have got again okay, I'll go to second now I'll say horizontal 1 2 and 3 same thing I will repeat it by the help of the grid the selection is much more precise 1 2 and leaving this one say one two and three so now I'll add this mask again now this is what we got and uh, now we'll convert this selection I'll press control on the mask control and click so we'll get the vertical selection but we want both the selection vertical and horizontal 
so for this i'll press control shift and alt and then click on second box so what we have to do press control here and click and then control shift and alt and get this as well so now if you see uh, there is only one copy in the channels but now if you go to select and say save selection i can say box selection i'll say okay now here we have saved it so now i'll go to mask mode he, uh, over here or press q on your keyboard now we have to fill this uh, empty box with the mask color i'll go to paint bucket and fill this mask i'll leave this first box i'll say 1 2 i'll leave this row say 1 and 2 again 1 and 2 now the second row will be 1 2 and 3 1 2 3 so now i'll press q again and we'll get this we have got the selection now clicking on the first layer and press ctrl j on your keyboard to get the same selection out of the layer ctrl j so this is what we have got the selection with the layer so now same thing uh, i want to follow again just press ctrl click the same selection will get go to layers again press q on keyboard to get the quick mask selection mode and i'll fill this box now this time um, first i have uh, click uh, filled with this and then uh, second row but now i'll do first here alternate box one two three one two three one two and three and second will start from here that is one two leave this row one two so now this is fine now again i'll press q and i'll say ctrl j this is what we have got this is again the difference between the squares we can see so i'll just on it now i'm clicking on layer 3 and i'll go to fx and go to outer glow and i don't want this uh, bright color but i want black still we are not able to see that because of the blend mode go to blend mode and say multiply and increase the size leave it the spread because the spread will go to preciseness and we don't want it so increase the size like this will increase uh, uh, like a shadow effect on that so now i'll say copy copy layer style and i'll say paste layer style So now if you see we have got the shadow effects on it but now we want to restrict this into this image so i'll go and say right click and say create clipping mask so now we are able to see this i'll just press ctrl h on my keyboard that will hide this great now i'll say create clipping mask so now this is what we have got so if you double click and say close slightly you can increase it if you want a more depth to it so you can increase one of the image to more depth so you can get the more uh, woven effect perfectly or you can decrease it 
as of your requirement. So this was my tutorial. If you like my tutorial, do subscribe my channel that is Keyframes Online. And if you want some kind of tutorial, do let me know. So I'll make for you. And uh, of course, enjoy learning. Thank you.